Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. Normally, I'm the guy trying to find the obscure topic to discuss. I use Friday's Terrible Take to explain my excitement for the backups and fringe roster players in this weekend's preseason opener. But I have to use today to talk about quarterback Kenny Pickett. No question about it, he was excellent his first time out. It's hard to paint a better picture than what he did against Seattle, playing the entire second half and going 13-15 of for 95 yards and a pair of touchdown passes, including the game winner. It's difficult to find anything he did wrong. Pickett looked comfortable, composed, and poised, especially on that final game-winning drive, Mike Tomlin letting him run the show on a running clock. Tomlin wasn't just playing for the field goal with safe run calls. He let Pickett make plays and attack. Pickett ran Matt Canada's offense well, executing boots and rollouts, one of which led to his first touchdown to Jalen Warren. He played mistake-free, he showed good placement and accuracy, and perhaps above all else, he got the ball out on time, on average 2.04 seconds. That's far better than what he did last year at Pitt, averaging a very high 3.19 seconds, a number that would not fly in the NFL. It's just one game, and sure, Pickett did not face the 85 Bears Saturday night. He also wasn't playing with the greatest show on turf and Mitch Trubisky, with a good outing himself, remains the favorite to start week one. But Pickett did his job and did it well. There's always room to grow, he'll have to push the ball downfield a bit more, but he laid a strong foundation to build on the rest of the summer. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast, myself and Dave Bryan, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.